The province of Nevruskaya was once a forested area with balanced ecological atmosphere in terms of water supply, air, and other natural resources. With the advent of logging, forested areas were indiscriminately logged and left barren. In addition to logging, canyon making became rampant as a result of growing population. The evergreen mountains turned into open areas covered with grasses, like the Bangan Hill, the site of Nerviskaya Parole and Probation Office Mango Plantation. In 1992, the Nerviskaya Parole and Probation Office accepted in writing the invitation of the provincial government of Nueva Vizcaya to participate in its Clean and Green Revolution program and a Tree for Legacy program. The purpose of this provincial program was to turn the barren areas into forest scenery and one of the areas is Bangan Hill located at Barangay Magsaysay Bayambong, Nueva Vizcaya. Bayan Hill was the priority of the Provincial Action Office and Tree Planting Committee because it sometimes erodes during rainy seasons and most of the time it partly covered nearby houses and the Maharlika National Highway. This caused the inconvenience of travelers from the northern part of Cagayan Valley and from the central of Luzon. The NVPPO was represented by the late Chief Parole and Probation Office, Amado T. Cuyaon Sr., and the provincial government of Nueva Vizcaya, represented by former Governor Rodolfo Q. Agbayani, executed a memorandum of agreement on July 19, 1993, which is here to attach for reference. After the memorandum of agreement was executed, the NVPPO staff formulated objectives of the proposed project. The objectives are as follows. General objectives to improve the ecological condition of the area, to create awareness among the people within the vicinity of the importance of the forest, the specific objectives to fully develop within one year a one hectare mango farm plantation, conserve soil and water resources for domestic purposes, and check and minimize the occurrences of soil erosion and landslides. Second, to give additional source of income to the probationers and parolees under the supervision of NVPPO when the mango trees start to yield fruits. Geographic scope covered. The NVPPO mango tree farm is a kilometer away from the town proper of the capital town of the province of Nueva Vizcaya, which is located at Bangan Hill, Magsaysay, Bayambong, Nueva Vizcaya. It is within the Nueva Vizcaya State University Reservation. The area is approximately one hectare, which is predominantly covered with very thick grasses. This reservation area being reforested by the recipients or stakeholders through the supervision of the provincial government will be turned over to the Navisky State University after years, after 50 years from the time the project started. Mobilization of Resources PPO2 Rodolfo C. Puguon, who is presently SPPO or OIC of NVPPO, was designated by the late CPPO Amado T. Cuyahon Sr. as representative of NVPPO in all meetings conducted by the Provincial Action and Tree Planting Committee. There were many meetings conducted from 1993 to 1994 until the Bangan Hill Reforestation Association was fully organized. The officers were elected and PPO2 Rodolfo C. Puguon was elected as treasurer. The association, composed of more than 30 recipients, composed of GOs and NGOs, including our office, the Nueva Vizcaya Parole and Probation Office. A copy of elected officers is here to attach for reference. The officers of the Bangan Hill Reforestation Association formulated activity plans, proposed works, and financial plans which are also here to attach for reference. At this juncture, the supervision of the project was turned over to Provincial Local Government ENRO and the project manager designated was Forrester Rodolfo M. Regala. The NVPPO staffs have been conducting orientation to its clients, the probationers, parolees, pardonees, in the last quarter of 1993. They were thought on how to handle seedlings, strip brushing, digging holes, staking, and the objectives of the project while waiting for the mango seedlings from the provincial government. The project was fully planted in the last quarter of 1994 with 100 mango trees. The NVPPO mango plantation was maintained by the staff and clients by constructing fire lines, 
ring weeding, and applying fertilizers. However, in 1995, the project was partly burned, including our project. The NVPPR staffs have been soliciting for financial support to replant the area designated for the NVPPO as per sketch map, which is here to attach for reference. In July 1999, the area was again fully planted during the Parole and Probation Administration anniversary with 160 mango trees, 118 gmelina planted in the boundaries to strengthen the fire lines, and 25 Japanese acacia as per inventory conducted dated July 23, 2003, which is here to attach for reference. The seedlings were provided by the provincial government of Nueva Vizcaya. The NVPPO staff and the probationers, parolees, parties, referred as clients, were the manpower of this endeavor. The clients were then nurturing the trees planted twice a year up to the present. The area became one and one half because the recipient of the area adjacent to an NVPPO lot manifested this interest in maintaining their area, hence a portion had been allotted to the NVPPO with the approval of the project manager. The maintenance of the NVPPO mango plantation is one of the routine activities of the staff and probationer nurse parolis during PPA anniversaries and during the National Correction Consciousness Week which is being conducted up to the present. For character reference, Rodolfo Q. Agbayani, former governor of Nueva Vizcaya, some personnel of DNR Bayonbong Nueva Vizcaya, and some personnel of provincial government whose names, as you can see, Results and Achievement On December 28, 1992, the NVPPO staff and 13 probation leaders headed by PPO 2 Rodolfo Sipaguan, presently the SPPO OIC have visited the area to familiarize themselves with the place. The clearing, strip bushing, hole digging, staking and construction of fire lines were conducted from March 1993 to May 1994 while waiting for the mango seedlings to be provided by the provincial government of Nueva Vizcaya. During the PPA anniversary of 1994, which falls in the month of July, the NVPPO staff and all probationers and parolis have planted 100 mango seedlings provided by the provincial government through ENRO under the leadership of ENRO Francisco Tolentino and project manager and forester Rodolfo Regala. The NVPPO staff and clients have been rendering ring weeding and cultivation to ensure the survival of the mango tree that was planted. After one year, fertilizers were applied through donations from concerned civic-minded individuals like members of the Free and Accepted Masons of the Philippines and other concerned citizens aside from the provincial government of Nuevo Vizcaya. In the summer time of 1994, the project was almost burned due to man-made activities like Kaingin. This was immediately reported to the provincial government and said government acceded to the request to the, of the association to construct crossroads that will serve as main fire lines. The provincial government has spent more or less 2 million pesos. However, in the first quarter of 1997, the project site Bangan Hill was totally burned again. Through the commitment of the NVPPO staff and clients, they replanted again in the month of July 1997 during the PPA anniversary as one of the activities to celebrate the birth of the Philippine Adult Probation Law on 1997, July of 24th. The female staff and the female probationers were assigned to cook foods and serve refreshments during the maintenance of the project. However, the staff and clients planted one in one half hectare with 160 mango trees since the recipient of the area adjacent to our project site manifested this interest in reversing the area hence a portion had been allotted to the NVPPO. In the first quarter of 1999, the schedule of guarding at Bangan Hill was prepared by the officers of Bangan Hill Reforestation Association which is here to attach for reference. 
Aside from the schedule of guarding bank and hill, activity plan, work plan, and financial plan were also prepared by said association, which are also here to attach for reference. On the same year, the staff and clients have planted 118 Jimanira trees and 25 Japanese acacia trees around the boundaries to strengthen fire protection. The ring weeding, cleaning the fire lines, and pruning of the mango trees have been used for activity of our office every PPA anniversary and during the National Correction Consciousness Week, which falls in the month of October. In the month of April 2010, the staff and some volunteer probation aides have sought permit to cut and transport Jimelina from the project site. 20 Jimelina trees were cut and sawn into numbers and sold. Six unemployed probationers were hired as chainsaw operator, helpers, and haulers. The proceed was used to defray the expenses during the therapeutic community sessions of clients and other special occasions like basic training of VPAs. At present, the MVPPO mango plantation has 135 fully grown mango trees ready to bear fruits. Aside from the mango trees, the project has 98 Jimelina grown trees and 22 fully grown Japanese acacia trees. Impact Indicators When Bangan Hill was reforested by the different recipients, and NVPPO is one of the recipients, the scenario of the big hill is too green and no erosion or landslide occurred during rainy seasons up to the present. It has been earlier mentioned that NVPPO staff and some VPAs harvested 20 grown Jimelina trees and sold. The proceeds were to finance expenses during therapeutic community sessions and other special occasions conducted by our, by our office. Aside from the income relevance, the project NVPPO Mango Plantation is very important as the staff and probationers or parolees referred as clients joined with the Green Revolution Program of the government and at present it is Pinoy National Green Program. The clients and staff learned on how to reforest a barren area. They also learned the technical know-how on how to prepare the barren area through strip brushing, digging holes, staking and spacing of specified plants. In short, the grown trees in the project site regained the balance of ecology in the community. Another, the project complies with the Pinoy National Greening Program. The provincial government of Nueva Vizcaya provided seedlings and other materials as stipulated in the Memorandum of Agreement to reforest the Bangan Hill. This is not the only project of the provincial government of Nueva Vizcaya, but reforestation program of said province spread all over the 15 municipalities like the Macalong, Casibuna, Vizcaya reforestation project where 14 parishioners joined in the planting of the 50 hectare barren area in August 2012 without the undergoing orientation first because they learned the mechanism of the above mentioned project. The involvement of the NVPPO staff and probationers or parolees in reforesting of Bangan Hill thought some probationers and parolees on the importance of natural habitat. They inculcated in them the advantage of planting a tree. As a proof, Paroli Reynaldo Gallen II requested our office to provide manpower in planting Jimalina and banana in his unirrigated farm, which was given due to course. His Jimalina tree and banana plantation is located in Kirang Arital Nueva in the boundaries of their farms and some probationers or parolis planted Jimalina trees or other perennial trees within their backyards. Sustainability in the following fields Financial It has been previously mentioned that the project was initiated by the provincial government of the Nevizkaya. The said local government has budgeted financial expenses like providing seedlings and other farm tools as reflected in the approved proposed work and financial plan which is here to attach for reference. At present, the mega trees and other trees are fully grown. The financial assistance from the provincial government was stopped in 2005. 
The maintenance is manpower only, and NVPO has the manpower with its parishioners, police, pardoners, and of course the staff. Institutional Care and maintenance of the planted seedlings since 1999 was the eye-opener of the NVPPO staff as the basis of compliances of probationers in one of the conditions set in the probation order. It was also this project where clients are required to join in the maintenance every PPA anniversary and special day like the NCCW. It is in this endeavor where they tighten their bond when they work and eat together. Social aspect. It in this project where probationers, parolees, pardonees, learn different government agencies involved in the Green Revolution program of the government. They gain respect from the people around the project site. It is also noteworthy to mention that their self confidence and dignity was raised such higher due to their participation in tree planting activity of the government. Cultural or environment. As earlier mentioned, the Bangan Hill was reforested. There is a balance of ecology. The soil has its own fertilizer due to the leaves that has fallen from the trees and no more erosion or landslides have occurred as per observation when trees grow. The, the people in the vicinity are therefore provided protection from loss of lives and limbs. Since we now have a 17th unwritten philosophy in the therapeutic community, nurture nature for the future, the tree farm being maintained by the office through its clientele is a strong manifestation of putting into practice the 17th unwritten philosophy as it has been sustained as one important activity of this office all year round, especially during special events of the agency. Evidence of success the NVPPO mango plantation has 135 fully grown mango trees, 98 grown jimalina trees, and 22 grown Japanese acacia. The grasses were eradicated. The people in the vicinity of the project site were educated to protect the grown trees. The NVPPO staffs strongly believe that the mango plantation is a successful project since the trees are fully grown. It is also perceived that the grown trees will not be burned because the personnel from the NRO were designated to guard the project. Probationers who live near the project sites have easy access to the NVPBO. They will report right away to our office any problem in the mango plantation. Like one person who chopped down one Japanese acacia tree in 2011. This office right away reported the Sinrao personnel who conducted investigation and the suspect promised not to repeat said unlawful conduct. Instead of filing a case against him, he was utilized as a guard of the mango tree farm. References Accomplishments on this noteworthy project had often been included by this office in its annual reports and articles in the Karayan newsletters submitted to the region in the previous years. It is noteworthy for this office to attach some important documents, as it had been attached also in previous reports submitted in the original office, including some pictures on how the project was developed for the basis of the concerned evaluators to have better insight of this project. For more details, contact SPPO OIC Rodolfo Sipugon or PPO1 Catherine K. Boyahon at the Nerviskaya Parole and Probation Office. The Bayern Hill Reforestation Marker The present view from the highway of the NVPPO reforestation site. Close up views of the mango and G. malina trees. Pictures denoting our maintenance activities during our PPA anniversaries in NCCW. Result of our labors. Japanese acacia trees A young boy chopping woods 
community folks near the hill are provided firewoods. Result of the Bannon Hill Reforestation Program at present. 